Hi guys, welcome back to Four Wheel Drive's Life. Today I'm bringing you to the back of my local Toyota dealership、um, to see the three frames that they swapped out. I myself am very interested in what the frames may look like、um, in the long run. You know where the rusty spots may have been developed. So this is very helpful for me to、um, to know. So I'm trying to show you the same thing. Hopefully it will be helpful to you. Got three frames, looking like Tacomas, cause I think it's not as beefy or wide as my Tundra, but definitely one of the trucks, cause it's C channel frame.、Uh, three of them, the same thing, rusted. I'm assuming they're getting changed. Look at that shock tower. Interestingly, they all have some marks or rusting damages right here by the body frame, right, right, next, right inside of the body frame. And as you can see, this one is a huge hole. Very interesting.、I'm、assuming Toyota's covering, covering frame change or frame swap, but. Yeah, seems seems like it's the Tacoma because I think Tanya may have three bolts right here on the side, and it's not as wide as my Tundra, I think. See more more rust spots. I think that gives you an idea of more more rust spots on Toyota trucks. So I'm just gonna film this. Hopefully. You know where to、uh, spray some rust proof, if not the whole frame. They look fairly new,、um, but surprisingly rusty. Lower control arms. Number. I don't know what FF means. Just、uh, for your information, this is what a frame of a Tacoma or Tundra may look like when it's rusted. Look at that hole. This one's actually not bad, other than that part.、Uh, as you can see, it's C channel from. The tail all the way to like right here. That's probably the passenger door, the front or the rear of the passenger door, which means the B pillar, because that's the body mount, which is, should be the A pillar, and that's the B pillar. And from here back is the bed. I think. Very informative. So take a good look for whatever it's worth. Um, for your own need, just that、so、you know where the rust normally comes from. That's the reason I did、uh, rust proofing underneath my truck. I sprayed the out of this, out of my frame, my own frame. But yeah, the lift somewhere in the salt belt. Or north, east. Definitely get your frame undercoated. That's the rear shock mount, right? I think, or axle. No. That's the rear shock. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that's the leaf spring. That's where the leaf spring goes. I think. From the amount of sand, <laughs> I can tell this one has been to the beach more. So is this. <laughs> It's impossible to clean out the sand from your frame once you go. What the hell is that? Why is there a ball there? 
but not there. Let's see if there is one here. Nope, clear. That's weird. That's the front of the leaf spring mount. All right, there he goes. Three truck frame of Toyotas. Key point to take home is always undercoat or rust proof your truck if you want it, if you want it to last long.